Sunday morning, busy in the yard. One shop customer just leaving now. Now a trailer coming back here from uh, Dan Ipswich Way. Right, well it's Sunday morning in the yard and we've got this very nice chap here has brought a, a silage trailer back. But there you go. However, it's not all good news, not good news. We're talking about YouTube. He watches Andrew Ward, which I'm, no problem with that. He watches Ollie. Never heard of GCS machinery until now. Correct. So we, we're going to try and educate this gentleman. Jamie. Start watching GCS machinery. So uh, we will. <laughs> thank you very much for bringing our trailer back. He's actually got a um, SW Hire Fast Track as well. So Simon Williams. And, and, and a British Sugar lot. British Sugar jump a lot. Is, is, is British Sugar the day job? British Sugar's the, no, 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 um, no. That's just what we do on a Sugar Beat. Sugar Beat. There you go. Well, anyway, hopefully you're going to educate him to watch GCS Machinery. So anyway, we'll see him on the way back shortly. Give him a wave. <laughs> there we go. Right. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Great meeting all these nice people. And it's nice to be able to educate them that, to watch our videos as well. We hope it's nice to watch, to watch our videos. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's nice to meet all these new people. Well, this trailer's going straight on the wash now. So then tomorrow morning we'll give it a proper wash off. Back in the workshop, we'll check the brakes. Get it all, uh... actually I do like a fast track. Right, what a beautiful Sunday. What are you all doing today? Are you having a good day? So, right, we're well, gonna have a bit of a tidy up in the yard down here while it's quiet. And I'll take a bit of stone and put in a hole in my drive that the, uh, the floods have uh, washed away a little bit of. But nothing serious, nothing bad. While the drive's quiet, we're not loads of cars coming down here, we'll do that. So, we're having a tidy up in the yard here. Um, tidy up put a bit of stone in some holes here um i'm gonna get jake fincham the hedge cutter back just come in and trim the banks around the outside the yard here just tidy it up so uh maybe we better have a bit of line up because we're going to end up with uh, quite a few traders returning soon i think from May's. so we're going to make a bit of, tidy up make a bit of space then we'll have a bit of rearrangement here with a few fuel bowsers that we've got here Everybody wants a fuel bowser. While I'm on that subject, anybody wants a fuel bowser or a fuel storage tank or a water bowser, you know who to call. We've got a few here in stock, ready to go. So uh, anyway, right. I'm going to get and do some, get and do some uh, diggering, as Jeremy Clarkson would call it. One yard looking a little bit tidier. Yeah, one yard looking a bit tidier, gonna clean up. Down here ready for uh, the young hedge cut man. We're getting them bits out there moved so we can uh, start shaping the place up a little bit. There we go, Jake is back this morning, Sunday. He's gonna go and do some of the hedges again for us. It's such a joy to me, such a very pleasant, conscientious young man. I tell you, if you ever need hedge cuts done, give him a call. Right, well, I'm going to get the digger. I'm going to go move a little bit of soil out of the way ahead of him. So, uh, a bit of uh, Sunday relaxation, I think. Right, there we go. Soil moved. Give the uh, head scat man a bit of space to uh, get on with. But to give an idea, he's, um, he's doing a wonderful job. Wonderful job. To give an idea, this is the hedges that we're um, taking the tops out of the poplar trees there. But, the edges here in an awful mess, awful mess. Um, so we've got young Jake here, 
And uh, he's doing a good job with his car. Can you adjust? And then he's going to tidy up around our pond for us. But uh, it's a lot easier to do it in the swimmer. It's certainly a lot easier than the swimmer, isn't it? Done. Anyway, if you want the hitch can done, there's his phone number. Give him a call. Absolutely top man with the hitch cutter. Very reliable, very very easy to deal with. So, uh, it's a nice chin there too. So, there we go. Jake Fincham, top hedge cutter man. All right, well, it's Sunday morning in the yard. So, uh, trailer just come back from higher on May, so it's got the starch on it. So we thought we'd um, start giving it a clean. So, uh, beautiful sunny day. And uh, I think this is very therapeutic, so uh, I quite enjoy doing this. One thing I was always taught as a child. Ah, <laughs> you look funny. You have got it all set on your face. One thing I was taught as a child is don't ask anybody to do a job you won't or can't do yourself. So uh, I think that's a good thing. People tell me I'm mad. I shouldn't. I should be in the office and just barking orders at people. But sitting in the office barking orders at people doesn't work. I don't think. So getting out here and doing the job is good. So uh, anyway, we're going to crack on now. We've got Eric's coming to help us now. Look, he's all prepared, look, look. Eric's all prepared now. <laughs> if anyone wants to bring their car round, okay. I'm not doing it in Daisy Duke shorts or a skimpy top. But anyone wants to bring their car round? Young Eric will clean it here for a small fee. <laughs> what's up this down, what's left this right? There you go, look. Eric's on the job now. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. Back from high an hour ago. Look, I've already been prepared for the next one. Monday afternoon, we've got, look who's in the yard, it's Ollie from Martin Hall, look, the main man, look. So, just delivering to us. I have, I have it on good authority that he's going to Truck Fest next year, and uh, no doubt he'll be wanting to uh, see if he can beat us with his lorry. lorry. I'm sure he will actually, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna be judged, but there you go. There he is with his nice white scanner. And he's doing quite well to keep it clean. 
Better one the way the uh, weather's been the last few days. It must be something, right? They've got a gold hopper trailer. Look at that. We haven't seen many of them in this yard. Fair trailer. Four axle. Chrome wheels. That. Ah! Are you having a good day, Ollie? So far, so good. Yeah. Living. Are you living the dream? It ain't over yet, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Why, I was just saying, just in case somebody ever watches this on YouTube, that your um, track fest next next May. Yeah. Oh yeah, Lincoln. Yeah. First one. And what truck are you taking? That's a secret. It isn't this one, though. We're undercover at the moment. <laughs> I can probably guess, but I'm not going to, I do know, I think I actually probably know the answer to that, but I'm not going to tell all the viewers yet. <laughs> it's all a big secret. I think Ollie's going to uh, aim at trying to beat us, but it's we're not going to be, we're not going to be judged, so therefore. <laughs> it's a lot of horsepower. Ollie, it's not, Ollie, it's not what you've got, it's how you use it. I keep saying that to my girlfriend, but you know. And if Ollie's girlfriend uh, is watching this and wants to comment in the boxes below, please. Still <laughs> free, free to do so. So, uh, so there we go. Right, I'm gonna leave Ollie in peace now. So, we'll see you later, Ollie. Have good fun. There you go. Right, it's Tuesday afternoon. Um, it's raining. I'm out in the service van to go and do an oil leak on a John Deere tractor. Um, hopefully, it's not too serious. I've got a fair idea what it will be. And. Um, Anyway, I just want to give you a quick update while I'm sitting here in traffic. Uh, a little bit of update on Tim. We've had a few people asking us, where's Tim? Um, why are you stopping the videos lately? Tim has been a bit poorly over the last couple of three months. Um, he's had COVID as well, and he's been off work. And, and uh, So Tim's decided he's going to have a little bit of a change for a while, and come away from the hire business, and go and work on a farm where they're harvesting potatoes. I think just to give him a bit of a chance to de-stress and unwind from the chaotic life and business of um, GCS so Tim is fine I have no doubt that you will see more of Tim in the future I have no doubt of that whatsoever um, he's not gone or forgotten he's just oh, gone off to something a little bit different just for a little while and and Tim has been a tractor driver um, a lot in his life and he finds that as a, as, a, as a nice sort of I say comfort zone I think is possibly the word so I wish him all the best in the world you know we, we we text most days, uh, we wish him well, and I hope you just give him a chance to go and have a bit of a de-stress, chill out, and um, just go back to his track, go back to track driving and enjoy that for a little while. So you, you definitely haven't seen the last of him, that I did, sir, um, but he needs to go and have a little bit of a time out. So uh, we wish him all the best, and if you see him on a travel, just give him a wave, give him a toot, whatever you're going to do. Um, he's still around there, but um, just for the moment, he, he stepped away from the high business for a while. So, uh, Tim, if you're watching this, we wish you all the best. You know that, and um, go and go and enjoy yourself for a little while. So uh, there we go. So that's a little bit of update on Tim. Um, but other than that, nothing changes. We're, we're, we're as busy as we can be. Um, Hire is extremely busy. We're getting loads of bookings for next year, which is really good. Um, we've got a lot of new equipment coming for next year. And equally, while we're on that subject, if you are watching this and you hire equipment. As Hang on. If you hire equipment, um, if you're farming or business, if it's something that you find that you can't hire, you find it hard to hire, give us, please put in the comments below. Tell us what machines you hire, what, what you want to hire, what you have trouble hiring, and we'll certainly see if we can accommodate you by adding some certain things to the fleet. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching our video today. I'm going to sit here in this traffic. I think I might be doing a U-turn in a minute. I think a lot of cars are. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please click and subscribe. Ring the little bell. You know the full works. You know how to. Do, you know what's going on. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching the video, and uh, we'll see you again on the next one. So, thank you.